Hey YouTube, so if you're like me and you have a love for these older iPods, as you can see this 5th gen I have here is in pretty rough shape. Now a lot of people are wondering on how to get these back plates super clean and it's really not that tough. Um, you're going to need basically one product and a microfiber. Uh, this one I just got in off an uh, auction lot and as you can see it's definitely had some better days. Um, this is another one I got in from the same lot and I already did my best to clean this one This one's a little far gone the case is a little dented, but this is what this one looks like After cleaning and as you can see it's not perfect. You can see there's a lot of scratches in it still I think somebody tried cleaning this in the past with sandpaper or something because it is pretty screwed up But it looks way better on a side-by-side -side comparison So we're gonna try to go to something like this and just as a demonstration if I pull out one of my iPods that I also just recently uh, restored, we'll pull out this uh, first gen. And as you can see, this one looks almost brand new. So we're gonna try to get as close as to a finish as this as we can. So to do that, we're gonna use this. It can be bought at you know many local stores. It is called Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. And I actually use this on my car for some of the uh, metal poly or metals on my car, so like my exhaust tips and wheels and stuff like that. This stuff is great. It's a very fine paste. It comes in this little metal tin. I think it was like six bucks. And to do this, all you need is a microfiber. So we're going to start by just taking some on your finger. You're going to go ahead and start working it onto the back of the iPod like so. And once you got it fully covered, you're just gonna take any old microfiber. You don't even need a microfiber. If you have just any old towel, kitchen towel, something like that, that'll work as well. So we're gonna go ahead, pick this up. It's gonna kind of go off camera here for a second, but you're gonna rub it into the iPod with a good medium force to high force, because you wanna try to get this product rubbed in as good as possible. And you're gonna have to do this multiple times in order to get it to look you know perfect so we'll go ahead and take a look at it here so we'll just wipe some off the back and already you can see it's starting to come back so I'm gonna keep doing this probably another like four to five times and we'll check out the shine once it's all done so I'm gonna keep working on it Okay, and now after about seven or eight different goes at it, this is how it looks now. Now this is way better looking than what it was before. And you can see there's still scratches in there and it's gonna be like that. You're never gonna get it perfect unless you really, really go at it with different kinds of grits and things like that. But you know, a before and after, that is just incredible. Um, so if you're looking to shine up your old iPods, try to get them looking nice, this is a great way to do it. And like I was saying before with my first generation touch that I have, this one had moderate, or not even that bad of scratches in it. It was pretty clean overall, but it basically just took everything out of it. And even side by side, they're pretty similar. So like I said, you wanna buy this mag and aluminum polish. It does an excellent job. 
I'd recommend it to anybody looking to restore one of these older iPods. And also you can use it on the front of the iPods as well. I used it on this one to kind of clean it up. This one's a little far gone with scratches. This one's even worse. Um, this one, I'm probably gonna have to replace the front on it. I tried it, but there seems to be some kind of really stuck on glue and it's kind of damaged the plastic on the screen. So I'm gonna have to replace that. But yeah, just a very simple, easy way to restore the backs of any iPods. So you could keep going to get that even better looking, but already this one's already better looking than this one. So anyways, have a good day guys.